Dr. Melissa Muschella, an assistant professor of philosophy at Catholic University of America, is with us. This is a huge event, the Pope coming to America, so many logistics that we've talked about, but how can we spiritually prepare for this apostolic journey of the Holy Father? Well, I, I think a great way to prepare spiritually is modeled by the Walk with Francis pledge that has been proposed by the Archdiocese of, of Washington, D.C., and it's something that I think people throughout the country can do in, in their own way. And the pledge consists of, you can pledge to do a combination of praying for the Pope's visit, uh, offering sacrifices and specific prayers for that intention, acts of service, serving the poor, serving those in need, serving those in the, in the community, coming out of yourself, going out to the peripheries as the Pope has been challenging us to do. And then lastly, action in the service of justice. And we can think about all the important issues that the Holy Father has been talking about. Certainly concerns about poverty, about immigration, but also the life issues, religious freedom, marriage and family issues. So there's, a, there's so much that we can do as well there, not just politically, but speaking, becoming informed, um, helping other people to understand the truth about those issues. Yes, and a lot a to lot be done on all, in all three categories. I know you're presenting at the World Meeting of Families in Philadelphia. You'll also right. see the Holy Father when he uh, celebrates the Mass at Catholic University mm -hmm. at the National Shrine. What would you encourage or how would you encourage people who are hesitant because of the crowds or the inconvenience mm -hmm. to go see the Holy Father in person? Well, it's worthwhile. I can understand. I'm not a crowd person. I, you know, I hate Either being in I. there. And I, I lived in Rome for a few years, and every time there was an opportunity to go see the Pope, there was always that hesitation. Oh, it's a huge crowd. Oh, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be difficult. But I never regretted the times that I spent hours and hours in line, hours and hours waiting with a huge crowd. It, it, was, it was always an incredible experience where God richly blessed that effort. And so it's worth the effort, even if you don't have tickets, even if it's just lining the streets. Obviously, not everybody can do it, but, um, but, it's, but it's worth it. And it's one of the nicest crowds you'll ever be in. That's right. And those <laughs> who can't actually be there can follow it all right here on EWTN. That's right. Dr. Miskella, thank you so much for being with us, and we look forward to working with you during the Pope's trip. Wonderful. Thank you.